Hi peeps, um, today I'm making a fast tutorial on how to create electricity on Adobe After Effects. Um, I've researched and there's no tutorial on what I'm trying to make, how to conduct electricity through your fingers, something like that. Uh, I've researched nothing like I said, so I think it's going to be uh, the only tutorial about how to create electricity. So this is the, I'm going to show you the file that I did. Wow, that's too big, so I got my folders here. And you got it, my intros, the one that you just saw, and After Effects projects. I'm just gonna just look at that. You got like here, me with a lens flare, a sub power ball. This is the one. Just check out the preview. So you got like me entering. Relaxing, chilling. Yeah, I'm all off my afro hair right now. Just like, oh, due to my problematic ridge, static was going over. So that's what made my power. So it kind of starts the thing right now. touch it again like okay I gotta unleash the whole energy I have and like day I'll create it so yeah so you can see the text so it goes down and yeah more power through my fingers I don't know and end it that's it and I failed because it was off of energy yeah that's everything so you're gonna go ahead and yeah by the way I uh, have footage of me photo booth and I'll make some footage I'll be back okay you guys so got my footage here I did it in photo booth is I don't usually okay. Uh so this is the footage I have. So there we're gonna put the light little oh crap. I'm gonna put the lightning there. Oh that's the other hand. Damn. You got it? It's pretty strong, pretty strong. End it, end it. Okay. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, once you got that, go to open Adobe After Effects CS5. Just let it boot. It's a lot. And it's After Effects CS6 coming out because it says here 1992, 2010, and it's already 2011. The two second of January, and the eighth is my birthday. I'm gonna be fourteen in a couple of days. Okay, so you gotta hear right. So uh, need, uh, I'm just gonna close that. I'm gonna need that. Okay, this serial has okay. That's what I use. My um, I use core keygen. I'm gonna put a link in the description if I get three subscribers out of this video. So get it, because every time it says this the serial is invalid, so I'll put a new one, accepts it, I can use it a time. So you're gonna go on Photoshop, the uh, photo booth. You're gonna drag the recording here and drag it into Adobe After Effects. And you're gonna go on project and here it is. Movie on 2011, one note, drag it into the timeline. There you got it. I'm gonna go to layer, new, uh, adjustment layer. I'm gonna go to effect, um, generate advanced lightning. Click on it. So you can see everything turns black. You guys trying to do that, but they don't know. You, you think they're just 
click on here, composite on original. So there you have it. The bad thing you won't see is that you won't see much here because the light kind of pissed off a lot. So you're gonna get two little balls here. Ugh, damn it, that's not horrible. And one controls the direction, you one controls the origin. So that's what we what we're gonna do. You drag the, the thing well you spawn it. Mine it spawns here. So we'll drag it a little bit before everything we're gonna do is go on. Uh, mark this these lightning type, origin, direction, conductivity, and core here and glow. And mark mark uh, core opacity and glow opacity. Okay. So once you got that, so it starts a little bit here, right? So first I'm gonna mark those and I'm gonna turn this into zero and seventy five. Okay, zero zero. So when it starts, it'll spawn there. Core it starts here. And one here, so it's supposed to be starting now. I'm gonna put it back, drag it, that's the core, to a 75 it was, so you guys, and glow opacity into a 59, 60, okay. So you got it? And drag it like this, and you know, go moving it. Just bounce about one second, and go like moving it, so it will get get an animation. If you don't, then then it will be like just a little image. And the reason what I'm trying to do is like drag it out of here, because if you like uh, drag it back, you won't see much. Yeah. Don't do it like. You can't see it, right? And you pass from here to here, and you change your hand from here to here. Don't like change it and put it back there, because it will like take its path. So I mean, while doing that, you pass it into here, then here, it will just follow. So you gotta create the path by advancing the thumb at like about one second every time. And advanced uh, less than a second now, so you can see my finger moved, and I'm going to. Move the origin and core a little bit, and move it back. So we have uh, seven minutes. Gotta hurry up. Look, my finger is moving. Just like that. So just keep on moving it. Make sure everything follows your finger. So we're just gonna hurry up. So we got three minutes, seven minutes of recording. So when when it spawns off, what you're gonna do? So you're just gonna turn it on zero and zero. It wasn't 75 and 60. So now you got is this. You got it? Movement. Okay. So when that starts, it's because of. I'm gonna change it here and put it back on its spot. 75. Do it like right before it ends. So you keep on your normal thing and it goes off. Right when you move the finger. You're gonna keep on here. So in 75. Um, and 50. This took no longer than one hour. See, we got this. And have it starts getting something that we want. Now, you got that. Bam, it starts there. And I'm gonna move it. Now, what we're gonna do.